Behind me are two classic American muscle cars, the Mustang and the Challenger. And this would be a classic TFL matchup if it wasn't for one important fact. That is a Mustang GT and that is a wide body Hellcat. And they don't really compete because, well, the Mustang costs about half as much as the Challenger wide body Hellcat. So coming up right now, we're gonna find out in a classic TFL mashup review if the Hellcat is twice as much car as the Mustang. This wide body Hellcat Challenger starts at about $70,000 and that Mustang GT starts at about $40,000. So this is not quite twice as expensive, but the question is what criteria are we going to use to determine if this is twice as much car? And those six criteria are style, performance, ride and handling, utility, value, and economy. But I need somebody to help me with this. Tommy, who's behind the camera, are you willing to help me? Yep, let's do it. So Tommy, which of these two cars do you want to drive? I think I'll take the Challenger. Of course you will. 707 horsepower, I do the same thing, but I'm okay with the Mustang. So let's talk performance. Under the hood of the Mustang, of course, is a five liter Coyote that puts out 460 horsepower. And under the hood of the Challenger is a ruddy big SRT Hemi that puts out 707 horsepower. Now, if you do the math, this Mustang comes out at about $87 per horsepower, and this Hellcat, about $99 per horsepower. So, value-wise, the Mustang gives you more bang for your buck. You know, once upon a time, the Mustang, Challenger, and Camaro were the three classic American muscle cars. But over the years, they've kind of changed focus. And what I mean by that is today, the Challenger in any form, be it the Hemi, the SRT, or the wide body Hellcat, or the Demon is about as classic of an American muscle car as you can get. So it's way over here. And the new Camaro, well that has evolved into a world-class sports car. So it's over here. But this Mustang, it's kind of in the middle. It's not quite a sports car, yet it's not quite a classic muscle car that can only go fast in a straight line. So it can handle these twisty roads, and it does provide significant amounts of feedback and adhesion when going around corners. So I kind of feel like Mustang is moving toward the sports car end of the spectrum while the Hellcat and the Challenger is like owning the muscle car part of the spectrum. From a style perspective, there are Mustang people and there are Challenger people. And even though I'm driving the Mustang today, I like the Challenger a lot more. It's just a massive fist in your face. So it may be a massive fist in your face, but it's been a massive fist in your face since 2008. And let's be honest, it hasn't really changed all that much. I really do like the styling of this new 2018 Mustang probably even a little bit more than the Challenger. I especially love this new crease along the headlight. I think it's such a good design, really sharp and really bold. So this car is what I imagine my 1970s muscle car of my dreams would look like. Big and brash and loud and angry, but it's also quiet and refined and I have a warranty. And everything seems right in the world. That is, until you look at that right pedal. Oh my god. Oh wow, this thing hauls. Holy crap. This thing is massively fast. And not even fast in like a, yeah, that's pretty quick. This is like a, holy hell, I gotta hold on fast. This thing is a monster. Which one is more comfortable? There's no doubt in my mind that the Challenger has cushy front seats. It's like sitting in a sofa in your living room. But let's see what the back's like. Do, 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 do. All right. Ah. 
Yeah, I fit, but getting back here is no fun, and getting out of here is gonna be no fun either. But, more room back here, even though if you're gonna be back here in either of these cars, you're probably in the booby seat. The Mustang is a smaller and, in some ways, sportier car, and the seats are also smaller and sportier, and that's probably a good thing because they really hold you in place unlike the Hellcat seats where you kind of float around like there is no lateral support. But let's see what the Mustang is like in the back. Okay, there we go. Wish me luck, Tommy. For all of you with no feet, this car is perfect. Oh, well, I think you can see the issue right away. It's, uh, yeah, it's no good. This is simply no good. This is only for small children, pets, and maybe very small, feetless people. It's not just about bang for your buck, it's also about how emotionally attached you are to the car. And a lot of that has to do with the exhaust note of these two vehicles. So let's see which one sounds better. You up for that, Tommy? Let's do it. the fact that this Mustang gives you the most bang for your buck. 460 horsepower out of a proven Coyote 5 liter is mind-blowing. The exhaust note is phenomenal. The look of this car is pure classic American muscle car. It's a look that people fall in love with in 1964 and a half right from the get-go because that formula that Lee Iacocca came up with where you take um, inexpensive car, stuff a big engine underneath the hood, well in the 64 and a half case, a small engine, but make it look really good, still works today. And I think that is why the Mustang is one of the best selling cars that you can get in this price range. Because if you're gonna get a Mustang, go for the V8. is why you go for the V8 because the sound, the sheer acceleration, and the fact that <laughs> you're gonna just put any other car except maybe for the Hellcat to shame, at least when you floor it like that, just fills me with so much joy. And I think throughout the decades, it's done so for many people, not just in America, but around the world. And yeah, you know, I love this car. I think for the money, you'd be hard pressed to get <laughs> a more exciting, a more engaging, a more American muscle car slash sports car. So Tommy, how much trunk space is in the Mustang? That's pretty awful. <laughs> Especially with the subwoofer back here, that's a... Oh man, I'm a college student and that's small by college student standards. Hop on in. Oh yeah, this is great. This may be a boat, but it's more of a yacht if anything. You can even close it up here. On the Tommy scale, we're gonna give this one to... Use that little handle to get yourself out, dude. Yeah, definitely the Challenger. That's great. spin up the rears like that. It's got no problem, second, third gear, whatever. You're doing a burnout at any speed in this car, and I love that. No, it won't go around these corners as well as that Mustang. Maybe it's not as tight, but who cares? I mean, this is a proper American muscle car. This will go fast in a straight line, and that's all you want it to do. That's all you need it to do, and it will do it well, and it will get you to that quarter mile faster than just about anything else on the road my dad in that Mustang and it handles much better when compared to the narrow body Hellcat that we have back in the TFL offices 
and I've had a very fair amount of experience behind the wheel of that thing. And I can tell you that this wide body, it's another animal. It's a different animal. It's impressive. If you really care about fuel economy, you probably shouldn't be buying either of these cars, but fuel economy is also a function of gears, and the Mustang has less power, more gears. 10-speed automatic, thus it gets 19 mpg combined. The Hellcat widebody, 8-speed automatic, 16 mpg combined. The clear winner is a Mustang. <laughs> Tommy, we started this video asking a very simple question. For almost twice as much money, is the Hellcat twice as much car? You know, I just don't think it is. I don't think it's $30,000 more fun than that Mustang. Well, I completely disagree. Hell yeah, that Hellcat is badass looking. It's fast. It'll scare the bejesus out of you when you floor it. And at the end of the day, is that worth almost twice as much? In my book, yes, it is. Well, let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Would you spend the extra money for that Hellcat Challenger widebody? Which car would you get? Let us know below. As always, I'm Tommy. And I'm Roman saying thanks for watching and check out TFLcar.com for more news, views, and real world Challenger versus Mustang reviews. Mashup reviews. Damn straight. <laughs>